Now I painted these poppies as a warm-up exercise, but I kind of want to make them more realistic. And so I'm gonna look at my picture a little bit more and add some details. One of the things is that it has quite a few wrinkles coming down. Just adding some wrinkles is gonna make it look a lot more realistic. And some of them are gonna be darker than others. Okay, so we're getting a more realistic look here just doing that. And I'm going to take some of the magenta and mix it with some black. Get a purpley color and make some fine lines coming up. And these I want to really disappear. You know, I don't want them to be sharp. So I'm lifting my brush as I go. I, well, one thing that you need to do when you're making up lines like this, I'm not really following the, the photo anymore, is make sure that they're not evenly spaced, you know, so that it forms a stripe. Like here, I kind of did that. It's our, our eye just wants to do that. And so what I'm gonna do for that is go back in and make this clump here a bit bigger. I'm gonna upgrade these stems a little bit. They got smudged around and ended up looking pretty much like background. And bring this pop this thing forward too. I'm just gonna use one of my cheap brushes. That's a plain round brush. And agitate those edges. Get rid of the sharp edge. And have it be part of the picture more. Other places there's sharp edges you might wanna to agitate too. Now let's see how that cutout look is just going away. The reason that happens is because the paint dries at the edge of a puddle in a sharper line. And so it, it just happens as part of that. So both the green and the pink dried sharper. Now that I messed up my green, so I'm just gonna agitate out further. Now, one last thing I think that this painting needs is to be darker at the bottom. So I'm going to get a darker blue to mix with my green. And I know that looks like I'm being crazy. It looks like too much. But I want to diminish this edge of this flower some more for the sake of the composition. In the photo, it's a pretty sharp edge, but 
I don't want it to be that sharp and I don't want to lose all my little pinks. They can, they can uh, go into purple like this though in a distance. Things often get greener, I mean get bluer. And then right in here, we need to go darker as well. This is kind of a big brush for that little spot. Let's switch brushes. And just a little bit of this to fade into the top part of the picture. So I'm going to wet my brush, dry it off, and then I just add clear water to get this to come up along here. While this is still wet, I'm still damp, I'm putting in some leafy shapes. It's still not like my usual painting, but I like it better. So this is, got a little bit more realistic, kind of in a stylized way. But let's see what it looks like with a mat on it. I hope you try it and that you have happy painting.